Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just do a little bit of a quick room tour. I'm gonna start with my nail corner and then go from there because I'm sure most people are just interested in the nail stuff. But I figured I would show you my whole little room since it is done. Aside from maybe just a little bit of art on the walls since they are a little bit bare. But I figure we can go piece by piece and I will take you through it and show you what I've got going on in here. So up first is an area you're probably all pretty familiar with from my videos. And this is just where I do my nails. So I have my nail mat. I have like an extra non-slip mat so that like my extra little tools don't slide away. I keep my uh, acetone dish. I got a new one. It's fancier. <laughs> And um, this little piece of paper is just here so that I have like a overhead tripod like clamp thing that it, it like clamps onto the table, but I don't want it to damage the table. So I use that to protect the table. And then up here I have a little rack and this has all of my base coats, top coats, any kind of like, I put all the naked manicure like perfectors in here. And then, um, just some extra stuff like this is a clear uh, polish. I have my latex free Manny mask because I'm allergic to latex. I've got the, I use this, what is this? Apricot oil that I use for uh, swatch photos. I have my quick dry drops from three different uh, brands. And then all of my cuticle solvents are right here. I have the out the door top coat, which doesn't fit. And then I have this weird aqua base, which if it would focus, I have this aqua base, which also doesn't fit into the thing. And then this is a, um, like, I guess you could use it for like your cuticles or your lips or whatever. It's like a balm. I, weirdly enough, I use this in my ears because my hearing aids um, hurt my ears a lot. They have cut my ears. I need to get new hearing aid molds. And then I just have a, a little chapstick. Moving over to the wall here, I guess I gotta back up a little further. I have all of my swatch sticks hanging from the wall, as you can see right here. One is missing because the whole thing just fell off the wall the other day, and so I have to like put it back up and you need to like give it some time to set against the wall before you put anything on it. And then over to the left, I have three little shelves with just all my nail polish boxes. Now these shelves and the hooks that I use on the wall, which let me show you a little closer up. These are just like clear hooks. And then like on the rings, I put my swatch sticks I've shown you before. Uh, these are both Command Strip brand. And then just so you can see some of the boxes, I've got all my Holo Taco. I did buy the Live Love Polish SpongeBob. And I put one of my enchanted boxes up. I don't know, just kind of like manifesting that she'll come back. <laughs> and then we've got some more hollow taco. And then at the top we have the really big hollow taco, my Crete box. And then it was from Cirque. They had a little advent calendar um, last Christmas maybe. And I liked the box and so I kept that. So down on the ground we have, you can see I have three Helmers. So all the way to the left, the Helmer against the wall on the top, I have, this is kind of my system right now, is all my swatch sticks of stuff that's incoming, so these are blank, stuff that has already come in this month, so I've swatched it, and then all of this, save for the Christian Louboutin and the Crete in the back, which they just live there, all of that is what has come in this month, so I keep it out until I film my monthly haul and then I put it into the drawers. And same with the swatch sticks. I will put those on the rings up here as soon as I film that haul. And here are the swatch sticks that I said fell earlier. Um, I'm just waiting like maybe 24 hours before I hang those up again. Here's all of my nail oils with this little postcard that got sent to me with my cuticle buddy. My cuticle buddy's by my computer, but I put a, I bought this cheap little like 40 cent frame from Walmart and I stuck it in there because I thought that would be kind of funny to have up there and it's a good reminder, right? If we skip the gap really quick, we have all of my brushes. Um, I have like any nail clippers, my cuticle clippers. Uh, I have orange wood sticks, all of my remover right here. 
plus this gross remover wipe. Um, my Orly keychain, I just keep that out. This hand mask that I probably said I was going to do like a month ago and then I never did. And then this remote here, it, um, if you can see on the wall, this controls like the colors of the wall. So I just thought these were like fun little strips. I bought these on Amazon probably. They weren't that expensive. Um, and you can just cut them down to size for your room. So in between my Helmers, you can see on the one side here, I have all the glitters. And the reason I have this gap here, which at first it bothered me, now I'm not so bothered by it. I could fit another Helmer in here, but that is where I have my, um, like there's like a plug right there that I just feel like I needed to have access to for like lighting and stuff like that. So I keep that open. I have a ring light here. This is the box that holds all my scrapbook paper, which I use as backgrounds. And then I have two little light boxes here. And that's just the bag for the tripod that I'm holding in my hand right now. And then as far as the drawers go, you can see I've got like a little bit of decoration and stuff here. So I have like this pin is from Orly, obviously different dimensions. My little brother last year for my birthday bought me these B magnets and I love those. And then I just keep my two magnetic polish magnets right there on the drawers. And then over here, I have a little SpongeBob magnet because we need that and a couple more bees. And then as you can see, I've labeled these drawers. So these two Helmers are all nail polish. We have on the left, A all the way to O. I organize by brand and then color. So for example, like this C drawer is pretty much all China glaze. You can see I've got like all my purples together and then it goes a gold, silver, black, gray, white. Or like over here, O to P. You can see it's predominantly orly and you can see that color gradient there. But yeah, so we have O all the way to Z for Zoya. And then it's a little bit scuffled, but then we've got all the minis in the back there. All right, and then at the very bottom, sorry for the angle, guys. But at the very bottom, uh, I have my stamping polishes. And I'm kind of afraid to open this because I went a little ham, like, psycho in here the other day. And I did not fix it, which is very out of character for me. But, yeah, I needed a specific color. And I was just like, where is it? And I was, like, flinging it everywhere. But, yep, that's just all stamping. So then if we come over to the right-hand side, this is, like, my stuff. So, like, top drawer is cotton balls. I'm running low. So you can see I need to buy some more. We have all of my stamping plates in here and all my, like, stampers and scrapers and my lint roller that I use. Next is gels and nail art. And I have some dip powders in here as well. But this is where I keep, like, all my glitters, my swatch wheels. All of my gel stuff is in the back. I don't do gels very often. I only have three actual gel colors. These are from a friend of mine. She gave them to me as gifts. And then I have another nail art drawer, and this has like the nail art cards. I just threw these. This little binder here has like, um, what do you call those things? These guys, um, nail vinyls. It's got like all my nail vinyls. It's got some like random stickers and stuff I've gotten over the years. Um, and then like these are another like latex free option for protecting your cuticles. So I have that. And then these are blank swatch sticks for when I inevitably buy more nail polish. <laughs> and then this drawer, backups, this has everything. These are all my duplicates. Um, these are weird toe separators. I just put them in there. And then extra rings and all of my extra like cuticle solvent. This is a whole bottle of base coat. Um, we've got nail lacquer thinner. I guess it's not really a backup, but it's just like kind of, this is kind of like the catch-all. We've got rapid dry spray from two brands. Don't smell it. And then I've just got like an extra little uh, nail cup. 
And then in the last drawer, there's actually nothing because I decided to leave one drawer really open because I have a feeling that this is going to run over soon and I'm going to need this last drawer for the overflow. So yeah, that's my little nail corner. And then if you just like follow right along on my desk here, we've got just like a candle, <laughs> some old Tamagotchi. This is just like all my stationery and stuff. This is my planner. It's called the Hobonichi, if anybody cares. It's my favorite planner ever. And then here is my computer, which I just built. And like an idiot bought two 32 inch monitors thinking, oh, this will be cool. It's giant, it's, it's too much, it's huge. And there's my tower down there. I just got white so that it wouldn't be like too clashing with my desk. And then I bought this little mouse pad thing on Etsy, it's a little egg. It's a mechanical keyboard. I gotta change the keycaps and stuff later, but I just haven't done it yet. And then this is just a pink razor mouse my boyfriend bought me. And those are my drinking cups. And then just going right over here, I have just a little couch. That is a super creepy uh, Star Trek blanket I bought at the local county fair. Several years ago, I begged my dad to loan me money because I didn't have any cash. And he was like, are you really sure you need this? And I was like, absolutely. And then over here in the corner is my makeup desk. There's way too much. That's all junk I need to sell that's underneath there. But like, I've got too much makeup, I'm aware. I have a lot of palettes over here. I got a lot of stuff for free, but of course I also bought a lot on discount when I worked at Ulta. I have my little collection of mini perfumes here. I don't use those, I just display them. And then my actual perfumes in the back. And then all of my brushes, which need to be cleaned. And then down here, it's just some stuff that's too big to fit in any of the drawers. And then uh, when we went to Disney, my boyfriend and I, I got this. And then that's toilet paper that is Gudetama, don't ask. And then this is um, from that Animal Crossing ColourPop collab. And then, let's see, over here we have all the plants that I've become really obsessed with lately. It started out, my brother gave me this cactus and these three little guys have already sprouted up from it. And then when I moved into this apartment, they just give you a succulent for some reason. So I got this guy from my apartment complex. And then up above here, I have this is called a Sembazuru. This is a thousand paper cranes that I folded. Don't ask me why. I've done this three times now and I keep giving these away and I wanted one for myself. So I made that. And then up on the ceiling, we have a bunch of glow-in-the-dark stars with the worst horrible popcorn ceiling ever. Because when I was a kid, my sister and I shared a bedroom and we had a bunch of glow-in-the-dark stars and I just really wanted them. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it from me. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything you have questions about, like where I got something, I can share that information with you. Um, or if you just wanna know more about like a section of my room or like why I organize things the way that I do, just let me know and I will definitely be sure to answer that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.